buddy. Let's see here. <clears throat> upload, upload. Okay, very nice. Things are good. Things are grand. Things are wunderbar. There I am. Look how handsome that picture is. Okay. Did I not have Twitch? Lo There's Twitch. Cancel. We'll be right there soon. We'll be there real soon, like. Oh, no, no. No. Ah, here we go. Yeah, we have it. I'll turn that shit down. Alright, guys. Welcome back. We're doing the whole Durpolo thing, of course. And here we are with our level 21 Death Stride. Necromancer himself. Let's just go jump right on in there. Operation, get this guy to level 99 without dying. She's a festive task. But a task that is doable. By someone as dedicated and as stupid as me. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm downloading a video. And it was at 80% a second ago. Now it's at 20. I'm like, what the shit? I'm like, oh, no, no. It's just, uh, it was downloading. Now it's converting. I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm assuming that's what videos are supposed to do. Download, then convert, right? I, I, did do dramatic music. Now, I am looking for a little special something called. Oh, there it is. Nice. Nope, that's not it. That is that. Are, that is not you. Ooh, that is that is you. That's kind of you. That's a little bit you. Ah, that's you. That's you. All right, I found it. All right, so it's been a little while, you know. I like to jump around between the games, and then you know, this week I discovered that Play PlayStation Now can. Uh, can stream games, and at the same time I found that out, I also found out this week that, uh... Well, I found out. I decided this week I wanted to do the Halloween stream, so hence Amnesia, and I guess we'll throw Inside in there. After Amnesia, I'm gonna need some ideas, but I'm currently thinking... I don't want to do it last. What's the other one? I got it right here, I got it right here. One second, I'll just... Amnesia... Oh, whatever it is, I got rid of it. But yeah, there's a bunch of things on there. Oh, uh, Until Dawn. Maybe Until Dawn? I don't know, I got a bunch of ideas. We shall see. We shall indeed see. All right, one second. I'm just going to go change something, and I'll be BRB, be BRB, be BRB, you back. All right, and we're live here. So I was just watching uh, Pupsker play his uh, his stream there. If anyone knows anything about Warframe, and you don't know anything about Pupsker, blend that gap. He's a he's a freaking gem. Okay, so going up here. Let's see what we're doing. Hello there. Now that. Yes. Okay. I don't need anything from you. I mean, I can't get the trophy. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in Act 2. I mean, on, uh, on Nightmare, but for now. If I'm aiming for level... Uh... Ooh, is this better than I got? What are we doing here? No, yeah, I only have a Volge, right? Yeah, I already got a Volge there, so... Oh, shit. Yes. And uh, what makes it so superior? Right, one point of difference. But that's enough for me. Alright, so, let's sell this shit off. Where was I at? Was I at the Durns yet? Oh, I was like only halfway. Right, 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 right. Good day. I'm not going to do the video right now. It's just late. I just want to, you know, just want to bop out. With the order below. Okay, so... Very nice. Got tended to my uh, marijuana. 
plants today. Got all the harvest all taken care of. Be scooty scoot. Alright, low crest. This is all done. Let's close that up. Very cool. Beat. Battle Scarred Galactic. Okay, yeah. Now let's get ourselves a little skelly boy army. Oh, uh oh. Am I ready? Oh, I'm right at the edge. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Uh, are you gonna help Faizo? No? You're just gonna chill out and watch? Come on, I'll help you down the stairs. I'll help you down the stairs, bud. Come on, come on over. There you go, buddy boy. Defaulted to no camp? Yeah, yeah, no, for Diablo, I don't, uh, I don't know if I see much sense in it, and I just wanted to kind of just, nice relaxing stream, get into her, and just relax, kind of like the nice wind down to the night, I was just watching another guy streaming, chatting with him, it was good times. I can't use this yet. How was your night, man? What do you get up to? Oh shit, yeah, I need uh, helpers. I can't right. This yet. Cleaning and eating. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, I like those moments where, like, <laughs> I'll finish up a stream, like, alright, guys, I'll be back in 20 minutes. I'm just gonna grab a sandwich. And I just, like, look at my kitchen, and, like, it's gonna be more fun just to clean this thing up than play games right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a testament that I play too much games or my kitchen is a disaster. <laughs> Ooh, nice waypoint right off the bat. Nice, nice. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't die. Oh, what's my quest? What am I what am I even doing? Gibbon's done. Alright, we need to go to the sewers underneath. Okay. That we can most certainly do. What does all the buttons do? There we go. <laughs> yeah, and I was uh so I think about I three or four days ago. What's that? What's that? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Like, every now I kind of see it like, uh, I'm not sure if you ever played the Sims games. But, uh, yeah, like one of those features was just like environment. And, you know, if your entire house was a mess and your dishwasher was broken, there's wall over the floor and like those garbage bags all over. Your Sim would just walk out and, and just become like instantly stressed and like, what is this fucking nightmare? And, Every now and then I get that in my own life where I just like I walk into the kitchen I'm like, oh this is unacceptable. <laughs> Even by my standards. <laughs> but I like it now that I'm doing like uh when I started doing the streams, um I started like doing cardio more. Just like getting on the bike more, I'm like, okay, you know, if I have more energy that'd be much more, you know, functional for a stream, right? But now that I got like the the cam going, now I'm like, okay, man, now I gotta clean the house and gotta start going back to the gym and you know maybe get some like teeth whitener and like I don't know, man, maybe I should uh, you know get like a like a like a, what do you call it, like a tanning booth <laughs> subscription or whatever you freaking call it for a month. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah, man. Like I had this conversation on one of the, the my streams the other day that were about like. Like, there's a part of me that kind of wishes that, uh, yeah, I, you know, instead of going straight into college, taking a few years in the military, and just having that kind of lifestyle in my life. But then again, when I was like 18 years old, there's no way in hell I wanted, you know, that kind of regimented life. <laughs> I should have like gone back to the military and got an education with them when I was like, I don't know, 26 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but just uh, their parent, though, I'm sure is happy to have you over. Like, like, well, I don't know what it is. Every time you come over, you go home, and I walk into the room, and like things are clean, the kids are all polite and stuff. <laughs> like, what did you do to them? Mm -hmm. Just told them to get their shit together, <laughs> get their house in order. I can't use this yet. <laughs> All 
If that was me when I was a kid, though, I probably would have been like that sneaky little kid that, like, oh, Uncle Dennis is coming up. Like, oh, crow, cool. And I just like I just go run into my room and make my bed at that moment. Never before that moment, but just at that particular moment. It's like I know the first thing he's gonna do is like walk in there and like, all right, it's all clean in here. Good job. <laughs> I see you're clearly listening to me. Oh yeah, yeah. Every word. <laughs> so I think tonight maybe I'll beat Mephisto, or maybe I'll just get down to the second floor. I don't want to be too tight and stupid. Very cool. Yeah, that's a good way, man. That's really smart. That was always a kind of a big thing that like I kind of talked to people about, and <laughs> about like you know what is it that inspires you? What is your drive to get get you to do things? Like why do you even bother doing some of these things? And like a lot of these times, like he's I know not a lot of the times. Like there's a few of these times, like I you know this person like you just see their face, just like you know you ask the question once, and I'm like oh you know because you know, that's just how I do things. But you ask it a few more times, and you know you have two or three more drinks later, and then <laughs> like. Uh, yeah, my buddy Nick, you just see like that moment where he's just like, oh god, like, I'm just I doing this for this. <laughs> psychological reasons of what happened to me when I was a, a 12 year old, and now I'm just like my entire life and everything that has become my entire driving focus has just been like the scarring moment I had when I was 12. I'm like, oh shit, I, I, I just meant like, you know, because, you know, it's just because you like to. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? Isn't it like 47 or 42? Isn't that what Douglas Adams said? After all, the, <laughs> after all the exploration, the galaxies, processing, the answer. Arthur. What's his name? What's his name? Arthur, from the Hitchhiker's Guide. The co big computer told <laughs> all the crowd there was like 42. Very confusing. So long, and thanks for all the fish. What is your meaning of life? My meaning of life, I don't know, like... It's just a pursuit of meaning. A pursuit of... Finding what you want to do with yourself. And I think, like, uh... You know, I might have my personal pursuit of life, but, like... Even pursuit of life is just something that we've been... You know, we gotta, like, figure out. That's like, you know, life is that adventure and figuring it out and, you know, if you can figure it out in this lifetime, great. But it might take you several lifetimes to figure it out. Uh, one thing I was listening to is, like, here I have someone like Markiplier, famous, famous YouTuber who is making, I'm assuming, millions upon millions of dollars playing video games and just doing what I would love to do. I would love to make millions of dollars being a YouTuber. Of course I would love to be making all the big bucks just playing video games all day, like, my god, like, <laughs> that sounds grand and all that. But it's really cool when I'm, I'm listening to, not, I guess not cool, but there's something very nice about listening to him and his friends on their Spotify, uh, what's called Distractable, their podcast. And the conversation I was listening to them have, you know, the, the ones that they post on Monday, was about how, like, after all this success... Um, YouTube is great and all that, but they both, like, two of them, two of the three of them said, I still don't feel like this YouTube thing is just, like, you know, the path for me. You have fun. And so I think, like, uh, you combine that with, what did I see last month? The movie Soul, the Pixar movie Soul. And the one line, the, uh, what's her name? Angela Bassett's character, I think it's Angela Bassett, uh, says to him, so, you know, he the main character, spoilers, dies... As, he's a jazz musician when he's just about to get his, his big chance, his big crack at life. And he, at one point in the movie, comes back and has that moment. Has that, you know, I'm alive, I'm on the big stage, I, I you know, my jazz has finally got accepted. And so he goes up to the, this lady, the, you know, the, the head of the, the band, and kind of says, like, you know what, after all of that, it just kind of, you know, wasn't what I wanted. And I can't remember, I'm paraphrasing, but she kind of said, like, you know, like this little short story about how, like, there was two fish the one day, and the one fish says, like, you know, hey, man, have you seen, have I seen the ocean? And he's like, the ocean? Uh, no, it's like, I, I, yeah, what, what are you looking for in life? Like, I'm looking for the ocean. I, I, I just feel like when I find the ocean, I'll be happy. And the one fish is like, like, you know, like, what are you looking for? The ocean. You're in water. And I did a shit job of saying that speech, but, like, the, the meaning of the story was just that, you know, just you're constantly looking for something around you to be the big meaning, like the thing that gives you purpose. 
But when you look at it, like your very existence in that existence is the purpose, is the meaning, the pursuit of happiness. No, that the pursuit, the pursuit of meaning is the meaning. I guess I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just. I've been sober for too long that my brain's gone in the stoner mode. <laughs> Dan Dan the Will Smith. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it just comes down to uh, the pursuit is the meaning. What's that line from like, the Canadian Heritage moment about television? The medium is the message. I think it's just one of those things that's just uh, the act itself is the action. Good day. Yes. Alright. You're shite. You're also shite. Can't use you. Shite, 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 shite still. And I can't equip that? Oh yeah, level 24, okay, here we go. Yeah, um, I am quite shit at making plans. But if someone has made the plans and says, hey, we're doing this, I am 120% in. Um, you know, like, you know, I've had it before. Hey, we're going to New Jersey. Like, okay, uh, I'll, you know, uh, you figure it all out and I'll be there. And it turned into a conversation like, okay, well, what are you really, like, contributing to this whole trip? And I'm like, don't worry, it'll happen. And then, you know, 18 hours of driving to New, to New Jersey and back, uh, I ended up driving for 14 of the 18 hours. And nine of those hours were through one of the worst rainstorms I've ever seen torrential downpouring rains through like these pretty impressive hills of New Jersey, New York and uh, in Philadelphia area and, uh, and that's kind of like the, that's the kind of thing like you know I'm very focused on just being in the moment I suck at making plans but you better believe that when the day comes I'm gonna do my thing and I'm gonna see to it that through like the worst torrential downpour I've ever seen I'm gonna get you there safely and back and then while we're there, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that you're having a fun time at it, too. Because thank you for doing the plants. <laughs> thank you for putting it all together. So I'll be the best Dan Dan that I can be in that moment. But yeah, I suck at plans. <laughs> but I also have like that personality of indifference. Where, uh, you know, I, I don't really give a shit about things. And I say, I tell it to myself that, like, not that I don't give a shit, but it's just like, I, you know... Society says do this, and sure you could do that, but you know for the most part my brain just kind of says don't, don't, don't do, don't you don't have to do that. Think about it at least, make your own decisions, and oh fuck I don't need to be here. I don't know. I think I'm just rambling now. I'm, I'm just like sober and tired of rambling. It feels weird not to be stoned. Stone brain might have been like I think you're stoned. Shut up. <laughs> sober brain is like you got this. Go for it. <laughs> but at this stage, being in sober October, being sober and not high is not my natural state anymore <laughs> I know man it feels weird but it also like it does kind of feel like there's there's no kind of sensor on me in a sense of like the the anxiety and paranoia that comes with have modern heavy dose to THC and low CBD ratios so so now that that's gone, it's just kind of like, yeah, fuck it. Say whatever I want. It, it's got to be more clever than whatever stoned me must say. But yeah, I think stoned me is... It, it feels more like a natural state than this. I mean, well, and that's the thing. Like, you know, I, I say that jokingly, but like, I was never conscious of paranoia for the most part when I'm stoned. I, like, I never... For the most part, I'm getting high to kind of like run away from bad thoughts or bad feelings. Um, no, like being still makes me very kind of numb and calm and complacent. But yeah, it detaches me from bullshit, which is a bad thing. Like, you know, of course, like I don't want to be surrounded and just bathing and in, and in, in depression and worry and anxiety. But uh, I forgot what I'm. I'm just rambling on. I don't know. But yeah, he's great. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I know what I was going to say. I, I never really had so much paranoia on marijuana, but I would definitely have just, like, um, social overthinking, like, being in, like, social environments 
and spending half an hour asking myself, am I being weird or am I being like a normal social person? And realizing like, dude, if you want to be a normal social, social person, go talk to people instead of standing in the corner going like, oh, am I too stoned to deal with people right now? <laughs> And then I'd have one or two awkward encounters where, like, the whole being stoned in public thing didn't work out. So next time I was like, hey, do you want to go to the bar? Nah. It's probably assholes there. <laughs> yeah, and I think I was doing that. Um, that's why I'm kind of looking forward to the Sober October, because I want to see what my body kind of does now without it. Um, and I, and I, it got to the point of, like, you know... Um, I, won't, I don't know if I call it addiction or just like straight habitual process, um, but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to, I needed to have an exterior reason to quit marijuana for a while because without an exterior reason, it's all just, well, why the fuck not? So, uh, I'm using a sober October as like, okay, like you set out to do something, fucking do it. And like, that's why I'm like. I'm really glad like my brother is joining in with me because like, you know at least we have someone to kind of like every now and then check in on it and don't get me wrong and don't tell don't tell don't tell King Bub but uh, you know I, I've, I've cheated I, you know I haven't gotten sober the entire damn time I've probably gotten how, how, how many days has it been it's been was it the sixth the seventh I've probably smoked three out of those days but man smoking only three out of four days uh, three out of seven days for me holy sweet Christ. That's like, I must have gone on vacation, and it took me four days to find marijuana in whatever country I went to. <laughs> well, I, well, yeah, I mean, the first one, it was, like, uh, October 1st at, like, 2 a.m. And, and that actually, I guess, would count as two, because that was, like, 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. No, 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 it was just 2 a.m. Yeah, that was the one time at 2 a.m., and then once... Uh, before amnesia, my my first day one stream of amnesia, because good fucking luck getting me play one of the scariest goddamn games ever without a little bit of calm in my system. And then there was one, what was it, two days ago? Uh, I went for a jog with Peanut, went home, didn't stretch, and just took like a nap, and I woke up and my body just felt like a seized up, just rusty Iron Man. I was like, oh my god, like everything was sore, like... It was a long jog. Like, I, you know, I'm getting into, like, 10 to 20-minute jogs now. I don't know what happened. I just had, like, one day. It was, like, after... I don't know what it was, but Jesus. Um, just ran for, like... Jesus. I think 40, 45 minutes. Woke up and my entire body was like, what the fuck? That was also after two days of... Or maybe two, maybe three days of not getting high. And I just went for this miraculous run. And when I, when I got back in, like, oh, my God, my entire body's... My, well, sorry, when I woke up, my entire body's broken. So, yeah. I did like a little. I ate some chocolate. I did. I took some Advil, uh, some chocolates, and then I, uh, yeah, I, I smoked a little of my vape. <laughs> or vape, I guess, not smoke, yeah. 172 days? Man, I mean, my necromancer, he's on hardcore mode, but that seems more hardcore to me, man. Like, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's why I want to do this month. I'm, I'm, I'm saying a month for now, and then uh, we'll see how she goes. I want to see how my body does when it's not just like, like the entire day just going crazy. And you know, especially going back to work next week. I know I'm doing sober October once again. Like, when when I get back into work, I've been out of work for about what, what five weeks now. Um, and so you know. <laughs> I'm exercising and all that, but, you know, the, the work is just a different muscle category. So I feel like that one's going to kind of break me up a little bit, too. So I might have to get a, have a little first day, second day back, kind of like a little smoky do. Because, like, yeah, the whole, like, emotions and, like, you know, step away from society portion of it <laughs> aside. Um, being the carpenter, having, like, a little smoke to get to bed. Sometimes, like, my body's just so damn broken. From some of those days at work that I, I have to have that smoke or I just can't sleep. And, not, and like, I don't want to phrase like, oh, I have to have that smoke. It's like, I don't have to have it. I can most definitely do without it. But holy shit, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And, and you know, if I got to be up at 6 a.m. in the morning, I want it to be a heck of a lot easier to wake, <laughs> to wake up feeling rested the next day. So, 
So I, I think I want to get more into like that leaning into using marijuana only for just like pure function. And I know like I, I, <laughs> I can train myself to get into like that pure function only mode. Um, but then I'll still have to do like sober Octobers every now and then just to kind of keep it in check to make, you know, to treat marijuana with reverence and reverence only. So like playing amnesia. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I just, amnesia, man, I just, I don't know why I, I decided to do that, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's October, I'm gonna do horror games, I guess, like, ho the horror games is gonna be a part of Sober October, too, now. <laughs> I need mana. I mean, thankfully, the, the second and third installment of that one, you, you can see, like, the game's kind of leaning heavier into the uh, into the puzzle versus the horror but that could also just be like okay i think i'm kind of getting used to the functions and there's nothing worse than getting used to a game while well, there's some asshole chase here <laughs> oh man i mean you're just taking advantage of sober dan <laughs> i spill all the beans <laughs> Oh man, you need that guy to tell you something? Get him sober. What? <laughs> Take him to a bar and don't give him anything. Apples. Apple juice. Water. I this yet. Oh, I can use six skeletons? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I like how I'm like, ah, I need to get some money together for some better stuff for YouTube and. I feel like buying a, a cheap capture card. You're like, it's a much, much better idea to save that money and put that into a bigger one. I'm like, yeah, I agree with that. That way, like 20 minutes, like, but I also really want a capture card. <laughs> I totally agree. I totally agree. But I also really. <laughs> okay, that's, that's ready for decrepify. What am I getting over here? Oh, yeah, so these two. Now, I want. I guess mm, three and four will be two of them. Okay, I'm gonna put one more in the skeleton. Yeah, okay. Skelly boys. What's it naturally right now? Nine, okay, yeah. Oh, I give out more? Yeah, I mean, wh oh man, when I was drinking, that's, you know, I, that was an open book. But I've kind of given up the drinking. That was, and then, you know what, like, I took it wrong, I had, like, the drunken asshole days. And then, you know, I did some things while drinking that were probably not polite. <laughs> Might get my ass cancelled. But I always tried, I always strived to be a very nice, polite individual. And I think I achieved. Uh, more so than I, the, the great majority, but, you know, everyone has their flaws in their moments, and I think I had mine, and... Um... But nowadays, I feel like if I could be a streamer, I, I, I don't drink that much. But if I could be a streamer, especially just like you know, a little, little beer, you one beer, done. maybe like a little rum and coke, just the one, just um, could really kind of loosen up the personality. <laughs> but once again, functional drug usage. I'm not doing it for fun or to escape reality. I do it for the, I do it for the fans. <laughs> What are you? Talk to Alcor. Alright, Al Gore, what do you got? Were you at my uh Oh man, that I I don't I, I, I that night was a blur. I think it was my twenty fourth or twenty fifth birthday at Monahan's. Outside of Sheridan College there. And I Once the book has may, served its Yeah, purpose. I mean I'm most I definitely in maybe mode. Uh, what it was like, uh, I was like, everyone was writing down how many drinks I had on my arm. And I woke up the next day, and I was only drinking for like two hours, and I had like 24 marks on my arm. And I'm like, that feels about right. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that's what it was. You were out west at that point, eh? 
Yeah, I, I think it was 24 or 25. I, can't, I, I, I feel like it was like my 24th birthday. Because I told the story a million times. And I always kind of remember, like, that oh, was my 24th birthday. But yeah, yeah. Um, just, uh... Yeah, it's good times. Um, I can't remember I was going with that story, but yeah. That was a great night. Yes, yeah, you are older than me. Oh, dude, I remember when we met at uh, college. I was still 18. And I think you were 21 at the time. And, you know, you bought that. The, the big deal was, like, okay, tell you what. I got the idea, so I go inside and I'll buy the 2 4. But you gotta help me carry it back to your place. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem. Little did I realize that, what, carrying a 2 4, how far do we have to go? That was like, you know, 20 minute walk, 25 minute walk. Which in that, that town felt like a freaking eternity. And we were smart enough, like, three quarters of the way, 90% of the way, whatever, however far we were. We were in the middle of a forest. Like, you know what? Let's save some of this damn weight. Let's crack open this goddamn box and have a beer. <laughs> like, you're walking that far. And I remember, we just, like, loaded it up in your fridge. And just, like, every day for the next, like, you know, week or whatever, just went over to your place, like, alright, let's, let's topple this beer situation. <laughs> and then we go to, like, life drawing. We had, like, like four or five beers each. Like, alright, let's go draw naked people. <laughs> I specifically remember like us doing it. I'm like, huh? And, like, and all of our like our our life dying instructors and our teachers being like, just get loose, a nice flowy lines while you're loose. And us just walking in there drunk as shit. Like, oh man, my lines are so loose. I'm the best new drawer. <laughs> oh man, for sure. I still laugh when uh when uh, little Oscar got left in the life drawing room and Femi, <laughs> big Femi banana. Uh, just, the, just the biggest, buffest black dude with, like, you know, this big old Femi banana sticking in. <laughs> and there's just Oscar, and, and our teacher and professor is just like, alright, anyone that needs to, like, take off and work on your portfolio, you can do so. But, like, Oscar needed the life drawing for something, for whatever reason, so he's just in the room by himself with a naked black dude staring him in the eyes. <laughs> And I'm not even sure if they were talking to each other, or like, and then I remember thinking that too, I'm like, I wonder if they're like, would talking to the naked model when it's just the two of you be more weird? Or not talking to him be more weird? Like, I don't know how, like, the dynamic of that is. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Oh, and now Faisal's dead. <laughs> don't die, dude. Get together, dude. Oh shit, now I'm full. Alright, let's go back to town. Let's kind of figure this one out. <laughs> that was great. College, man. I mean, as much fun as I had there, I don't. I don't regret the overall. I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't miss the overall experience. Once. Oh yeah, let's make do that. that here. Let's make that flail. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, college was definitely different times. Alright, we'll get some more health here. Get nice and topped up. Good day. Bazel, come on, buddy. Get it together. Yeah, I'll have to figure out the setup later, but so far I don't like the audio output uh, when I'm using the capture card. I can't do that here. And then, you know, I'm sure I can, s and I can fix it. I mean, I did fix it with that bloody snow globe, but then you heard it tonight, like you said, ears are bleeding. Like for sure they're bleeding. Like, I don't know what the hell was going on with that, and I you know, changed out these levels and all that. And it was, uh, you know, I plugged in the the. I should do the snowball, but no, it could have been that. I don't know. I spent like half an hour just turning every toggle, every switch, pulling every lever. But yeah, I'll go in there tomorrow with a fresh mind. Even today, I'm trying to figure it out. But I'm like, okay, my stream. I told everyone I'd start at seven o'clock. It's now seven twenty. I think I was just kind of rushing and getting impatient with her. So. 
2.3 kilometers. Wow. Wow. How long does it take to walk 2.3 kilometers on Google Maps? Without, you know, considering the extra 40 yet. pounds of liquid and glass in our hands. To the yeah, oh, man. I can't use And like, I don't know, I, I, there's a part of me now that's like, that distance seems so small. But like, fresh into college and seeing that, it, it didn't, you know. And coming from a small town of a thousand people too, like. That was not a small move for me. <laughs> so walking that far, I'm like, oh my god, I'm in the big city doing shit. <laughs> Three kilometers an hour. Yeah, yeah. So we took a few timeouts. We definitely took a few timeouts. Um, so I think you gotta, you know, we'll do the approximate. You know, that'll take a look. Pay attention, there we go. I think after all the stops, it took us closer to like an hour and 20 minutes, though. Impossible. Oh, yeah, gotta equip that shield. Equipped. Breaking orbs, alright. Let's get down there. Three kilometers an hour. I mean, you know, I think we're fairly fast walkers, you and I, but, uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember who said it. There's someone talking about how there there can be a... Nowadays, science can kind of determine that there's a direct correlation between how quickly you walk. Like, you kind of, like, unconsciously how quickly you walk, and how much time you have left in your natural life. <laughs> like, oh, great. And so as soon as she started saying that, I'm like, okay, well, fuck this. I'm going for a jog right now. <laughs> So I think I've adopted it as like that as a, a means of how, what's like a, a good focus on how to stay fit. And like, you know, a good thing to understand about fitness, <laughs> according to this person, I think it was on the Joe Rogan podcast, is like, the faster you walk, the longer you have to live. So that's why you do exercise. Not to improve your lungs, not to improve your heart, because there's, a, there's, a, there's an equation. <laughs> that's just like, you know, man, this guy's peddling us. Make him immortal. Nope, this is not ideal. Thank you, Fazo. Here, my boy. I need mana. All right, pull through. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the uh, the time I bought two lap lobsters? For uh, Natasha and my our like our first anniversary, I can't use this yet. <coughs> and hor how horrible that experience went just getting lobsters. <laughs> so I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I get to uh, oh, what was it called the Metro up at the same plaza that we got the beer there, and uh, you know the night before, I'm like all right, I'm gonna grab two lobster and make this big nice decadent meal and. And I, so I went on my bike and I'm up the hill and I got all the stuff and you know they give you like that little that little McDonald's looking kids meal box they put the lobster inside and they hand it to me yada yada I'm heading on the way back to my house at the bottom of the hill at this point <laughs> the big giant hill on the way up to the plaza there and uh, I I don't know if I'm not paying attention to what's going on but there was like a strangely wide gap between the sidewalk and like the, that metal divider right. Because, uh, you know, you don't want the, ki the cars going over that hit. It's like a big drop off. It's like, like that, that metal car blocking thing. But the gap between this metal barring and the sidewalk is pretty significant. And in between that is just like this drop off of like two to three inches off the sidewalk onto like this very slick and mud, like slimy kind of mud looking situation. And so I'm not paying attention to my bike or something. And I'm flying down this hill full speed and my wheel falls into this gap in between the the you know the road divider the car divider and the sidewalk and it's fine I'm like okay I can probably handle this like oh crap oh crap oh crap kind of situation but the the four, the 8x8 wooden post holding up that wooden barrier 
you know, sticking up a little bit higher, hit my handrail, turned my wheel instantly sideways, and, and stopped the wheel at the same time, and proceeded to catapult me through the air while holding onto a box of lobsters. That's what it was. I'm holding onto a fucking box of lobsters, and I'm pedaling a bike downhill full speed with only one hand kind of on the <laughs> on the handles. The other box is kind of on there, but it's holding onto the, the lobster, so it's just kind of like a numb, dead wrist holding onto it. And so I hit this this rail, bike turned sideways, catapulted me into the air. Somehow, miraculously, I kind of like do this, this front flip barrel roll, and I land with my right hand still kind of up in the air, trying to like, you know, balance myself, but my left hand in that sl same slimy mud, and then my feet, you know, I, I'm like, I kind of fall like belly downwards and my feet down the hill and my head facing up the hill kind of thing. And so my hand lands on the, this muddy slime. My feet hit both the, hit the ground. Both my feet hit the ground. And I slide. First saw like four or five feet, I'd imagine. And the worst I got was just like a little bit of cuts on my hand. But thankfully, that, that was like slug, slimy ass mud. But then I kind of like, I take, take that moment where I just kind of like look around and go, what the fuck just happened? Okay, what? Uh, okay, oh, uh, Jesus. And, like, a car passed me and some kind of slowed down just a touch. And was like, you okay, man? I'm like, yeah, I think I'm good. And then I look around like, oh, shit, I had lobster. And so I guess when I launched, I just kind of, like, booped the box of lobsters with the two lobsters into the air. And, no, not even that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't even throw them in the air. So I look over, I look back, and I see the box turn sideways, kind of up the hill a little bit. And... I see this one lobster making a run for a sewer grate on the road. And I see this guy, and he's got one claw over, and he's kind of running down the hill. And he's got, like, one of his, like, I don't know what you call them, crustacean legs over the edge. And, I, I, and he's making his way over to the sewer. And I, oh, no, you don't, you little fucker. And I grab him just in time as he, like, he kind of, like, like bops his body over the, the, the curb and towards the sewer. So I grab him just in time, and I go to put him inside the box. And I realize that when the handrail of the bicycle when I was kind of like, my, my, my right hand was like the nub hand holding on to this box. When it hit this rail, it's, it hit the box as well. And so the one lobster, his head just got smashed right in from the impact. And it like it folded, it crushed in the box and smashed his head. And so another reason, just thank God my hand wasn't holding onto, the, onto this thing because that would have happened to my hand. It would have probably broken a finger or, or a wrist or something. And so then I, I put it, I, I have a moment where I get home, I sit down, I tell this story to my roommate, he's dying laughing, as I'm still trying to piece all together what's going on, and then I realize, I'm thinking about that lobster, I start thinking about what happened to that, that poor lobster that almost got away, not the dead one, the dead one got off easy, the one that survived, he's just like taken from his little happy zone in this like, you know, this... <laughs> This, yeah, this little aquarium, put into a dark box. I'm, he's flying through the air with a good mate of his that he's known for God knows how long inside of that aquarium back at the metro. And <laughs> suddenly, massive collision. You know, the lights kind of go well. He doesn't know what's going on. He lands. And I just picture that moment where, like, you know, in, like, movies or games or whatever, like, you know, the, the, the character's been knocked out and, like, that, you know, that flicker of their eyes come open and everything's kind of, like, woozy and hazy. And he looks up and he just sees his mate. And he's like, Jim? Jim, are you there? What, what happened, man? He just over there. He sees Jim's just his head has just caved into his chest. Kind of thing. It's like, oh my God, Jim, no! <laughs> and he instantly just sees the sewer. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. And he just makes a break to the sewer. So I'm just picturing that. Like, by the time I caught that guy, he's like, okay, freedom, horrible, horrible freedom. Oh my God, get me the fuck out of here. Oh, Jim, not Jim. And like, right, okay, here we go. And then like, yoink! I grab this fucking lobster, walk up to the box. Toss him back into this box with the corpse of Jim, <laughs> and then bike home and toss, toss him into the fridge. Oh, oh God. Yep, that poor lobster had a shitty day. Yeah. <laughs> Say fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> and then I do feel kind of bad because like there's a part of me that's just kind of like, man, had I thought about that, and you know, be it, you know, I'm in college. I just dropped, like, a fortune on lobsters. If I had the option, I would have just, like, you know, buddy, you're a, you're a pet lobster now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep you safe, buddy. I'm going to buy an aquarium. And, like, to heck with our one-year anniversary, we'll split a lobster and I'll make us ribs as well or something like that. 
I don't have no money for another goddamn lobster, let alone a, an aquarium and food to keep a lobster alive that I'm not eating. That's mental. I can't use this yet. But you know, I'm kind of an asshole because I felt good just thinking that thought of like, oh, how good of it would it be for me to like save that poor lobster's life. <laughs> I was like, fuck that, he's delicious. Actually, I to be fair, I ate Jim. I thought it'd be the polite thing to do to give uh, the fresher, fresher lobster to the to the girl. To the loss. <laughs> this lobster tastes extremely fresh. Yeah, and his head wasn't caved in. What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you better believe. While we were eating that food, I told her the entire story of what happened and like the lengths I went to. Is like. I want you to appreciate how delicious this lobster is, but I need you to also appreciate the trials and tribulations that is that lobster. But I mean, thinking about it now, I probably should have waited until after the meal to to tell it all about it, because <laughs> now I feel like she's gonna start like crying, and be all upset. Like I just I just ate the survivor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. He's not really a survivor, he's just like, you know, the guy that put off bullshit really good. <laughs> I can't use this yet. We both know he was never going to have a chance to survive. Cool, sounds good, man. Be a food. I'm almost at Mephesto. It's probably a good time to stop chatting. So I can focus on not dying at the boss. I can't use this yet. Parkour! Do -do 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 Am I still poisoned? Come on. There we go. There we have it. Okay. Here we giggity go. Wait a minute, do I not... What level am I? Shit! I ain't dicking around with Mephesto until I'm 24. How did I do this so damn quickly? Damn! I got a level and a half I gotta grind out before there. Shit. Okay, well, I'm going to... I wonder where a good run for that would be. Mm, let's see the old telephone has got some advice on that because I am too tired. Alright now. See, one thing I do like about the OBS though, or the OESB, you know, OSB, yeah, yeah, is that I can keep the stream going and switch over to another game. I can't do that when I'm streaming directly from the PlayStation. Which is a crying shame. Where, where are we at here? Maybe I get to a certain time stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, if I need to get experience, might as well kill the guys in here before I fight uh, old rusty nuts. What are you? Ooh, experience time. Beauty. Freaking beaut. Even the game's just like, dude, go level up. <laughs> get that stupid shit out of here. Alright, boys, retreat. And come to us, or just use this not yet. listen. Thanks. Shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty-four with decrepify. That very necessary for you. Yeah, we need real man here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I've got... No, I don't. I don't. I drank it all. Oh, I have tea. Oh, I drank it all, too. Alright, well, I guess we're just exploring the... We're just grinding at some levels here. Let's, let's see. Here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you coward. Let's see if I can do caravan. That would be fun. If cow runs in a group, that'd be much faster. Loading. Alright. Let's see if this still works. Oh, yeah, I need more leg. Find his stones. Sweet Jesus. Not enough mana. Right. Let's get by ourselves. <laughs> Vizel. It's like Bagel. Well, with an F and a Z instead. So actually nothing like Bagel. It's like... Hello again, Outlander. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome. Salutation. All right, all more time, people, for the cheap seats. I can't use this yet. I can't use this yet. Where's your stones at, guys? Big ones. Not enough mana. Yeah, there you go. Take me to Tristram. Oh, come on, what are these bloody stones? Oh, rackety here. Okay, cool. Now, say once and I'll say it again. What are these flipping stones? Where's the uh, stone hedges area? So far away, last time. So much for a quick cow run. I, mean, I gotta imagine I'm still leveling up, but. Flip, fuck, bro. Oh, 
turn on the boot. I can't use this yet. Okay, dokie. Making a lot of ground to so not see these frickin' stones, which I assume you find in the frickin' stony fields. Nope, no, 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 that's just the entrance to it. That's the real entrance. Let's keep walking. And we're walking, and we're walking. Okay. Well, I think that's official. I think I should call a stream. I think I just, uh, you know, live stream a little power nap there. <laughs> I mean, which is fine, not a problem, but you know, hardcore mode. And you know, it's a necromancer. They'll sure. keep me alive and they'll protect me. My little, my little boners. But that's no guarantee. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Show me that sweet stones. Give me Wurt's sweet, sweet leg. And then we can see if we can do the cow level. Or if we have to do the, uh, either beat normal mode. Come on, map. Even you can show me what it is. Come on. Bloody stones. Yep, I'm awake. <laughs> ah, I, think I, need, I think I need something a little more lively to keep awake. Or I can just wrap it up shortly. Where the flip are these stones? How have I not found the... Oh, fuck me. In the very far reaches of this corner. That's where it is. Nice. That guy went down like a sack of potatoes. Let's kill the butts. This way. Either way, this way, and we're walking, and we're walking. Can't use this yet. Okay, okay. I can't use this yet. I, I am overburdened. I don't think he's quite up. There he is. The old greasy. Thanks for dropping poop, bud. Ooh, save a glove. That's cost money. No mana? Okay. I am overburdened. Well, shit. For one. 
to oh. Alright, um, so, I mean, just, what, okay, oh, sure, I don't want to go there, let's put you back, because I will put you there, the beefy bastard. Whew, okie dokie. So, higher leather armor. Ooh, a bardish. War slugger? One. Sad. Alright, let's, let's get this war slug here. Keep that in the corner. Get around the down tree. I need mana. Here he five. There he is. Old wordy boy. Alright, so we get the leg. And now. Back to town. Back to town. To show my dad that I'm not a clown. Oh, that didn't work out. Uh, so. What changed? Okay. Alright, so. That's why Good day. Oh, wrong person. Oh, shit. Where's old Daddy Kane? Greetings. Sweet. Okay, I got it. Let's get rid of some gear here. Oh. Oh, I can't go more. What do you do, little man? Alright, so we'll pop her on up. Let's get rid of some of this nonsensical jargon. So, oh, nice. Spoke too soon. Weep Forbes makes three. Oh, buddy. You just missed it. I kind of like dozed off twice. Still here. Still alive. <laughs> Surviving like an idiot does. Right now we can put that in there. I'm gonna see if I could open up a, a realm to the tele I mean to the cow world. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Cow world. This is like a little mission to get unlock the uh, what's it? This guy here. Wurt's leg cannot be traded. So there's a specific place you can find it. That's all good. Go to the center of town here. Not in town. Oh my goodness, what's the Jesus. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we do this. I'm doing one of those. 
I can't use this yet. Huh? I mean, you can't use it. Yeah, okay. I think you gotta be in normal mode to unlock it, so you can't do cows on the first stage. Dang. Ding, ding, darn. I guess it's back to the old fashioned grind of. Huh. Huh. Well, I can't get the cow level. So, with all the dozing off I'm doing here, my options are hop on Dave Chappelle's new stand up comedy, go to bed, or just switch to softcore mode and keep going with this. Or switch games and keep going with this. You know, there's, there's options. <laughs> the hardcore in this. Oh yeah, especially on hardcore mode. <laughs> I mean, the good news for the necromancer, at least, thankfully, is I got you know eight guys covering me. But uh, that is not a guarantee of nothing. <laughs> it's not a little seventies. I haven't dicked around with the level 7. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh. Hardcore, we're doing a sorceress. Let's pick a new character. In softcore mode. Let's make a Barbie. Let's make a Barbie. Barbie or an assassin? I'm gonna make both of them eventually, but. You know Let's try the assassin. She's. Aye. Yeah. Oops, shit. Might as well delete him. I'm sure you want to delete this character? Yeah, he's uh, hardcore dead. <laughs> Like an assassin. See how she does. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh crap! It is two o'clock. Yeah, I've been staying up to like four a.m. Uh, last week. I was staying up till four a.m. last week. Uh, this week. I mean, a few days ago. Like, I just my body passed out at like eleven o'clock. So I'm kind of in that mode right now. <laughs> Assassin. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Let's take a look at this chick and then I'm going to bread. Good old Hella. Hell tool. They're all a bunch of tools, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do that. All my uh I was going to make all my softcore characters something tool, and then all my uh, hardcore characters something boy for, uh, for, beg, for beg boy, <laughs> for Krama, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Good day. Now I'm just kind of calling them, naming them after Norse characters. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got Cordesaw over here. Hey. He's killing it. He goes anyways. Okay, I just want to look at the skills of the uh, assassin. I remember what I'm doing again with her. So what, I I always wanted to build a trap, one with her. For, which one was it? Like his death century? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Shoots at enemies, lightning at enemies, and explodes corpses, killing more enemies. And it gets more damages from Lightning Sentry and Fire Blast. Lightning Sentry, is this Fire Blast? Okay, cool. What are you, Shackle Webs? So there's like a, yeah, you can make like a Lightning Trap person. Who's kind of just like a Necromancer, but with traps instead of friends. Sounds more expensive. Good day. Wake of Fire is like Wake of Inferno. Are you also a fire? Oh no, so this is like the, the fire one. Oh. Hmm. That one gets boosted by. Oh no. Then Shadow Disciplines, I think that's her like passives. But like passes if you're, if you're a melee, melee fighter? I don't know. Use the power of your mind to create a psychic blast to crush and knock back your enemies. Oh, that sounds intimidating as shit. Hammer tool. Oh, mind blast. Okay, shadow warrior. Wait, wait, let's go back to first. Passive for your claws. Yep, yep. Burst of speed, attack and movement speed. Yep, yep. Fade. Oh, very good to have. Resistance and resist curses for a period of time. What's the duration? Two minutes. Yeah, that's really good. Venom. And then this one, weapon block, passive chance to block when you're using dual claws. Summon a shadow of yourself that mimics your skills and fights by your side. Very cool. Shadow monsters, monsters, yeah, shadow master. Summon a powerful shadow of yourself. Boo, boo, boo. And then there's the martial arts, which I don't think I'm going to be using for her at all. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll, I, I'm going to call the stream right here, too, so I'm all good here. <laughs> all right, man, you have a good night. I'm going to pass out, too. We're going to start tomorrow nice and... I was going to say bright and early, but I'm not, I think 10, 10.30, I'll probably back at her, so... All right, man, you have a good night. Take care. I'm going to call it here as well, so... <laughs> Fare thee well, dude. <laughs> all right. And then the tool is leaving. Bye, everybody. Good night.